And welcome back to Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition, gents and lady gents. Uh, this episode is a direct uh, follower of the last episode. We've got one more of these golems over here to kill before we go ahead and make our way down there to fight the Hydra. So hopefully we will get down there and uh, take care of that real quick. Now, last episode, I did get to show off a quite a bit of the damage that gets dealt by the water bullets. Sorry, I had something uh, in my mouth. Uh, but we got, uh, ooh, that sounds kind of dirty, doesn't it? I'm sorry, I apologize for that. Anyway, we uh, got to show off some of the damage that gets dealt by the Hydra if you get caught by the water bullets. Now, hopefully, I get to show off how to dodge those. Um, and it really seems as though that many particle effects on my screen seem to slow down the FPS. Now, I know it might be because I have the, uh, the rendering set really high. As well as just the straight game resolution we've actually tweaked. Like I said, I believe in the second video of the series we actually uh, showed you guys that we did tweak the settings in the actual game files to include a higher resolution than the game comes with. Now, because the game is at a locked frame rate, uh, it does cause issues with the backup. Uh, I really didn't think he was going to hit me with that, uh, but I guess I did. Was I was kind of blinded by the trees there. Now... As I've said before, the game is locked at a steady 30 frames per second because it is a direct port from the 360. So because it is locked at a frame rate, uh, sometimes because of your resolution choice, uh, it can really slow down, especially if you have a lot of stuff going on in the game itself, such as particle effects from a water bullet via the Hydra. Now, hopefully... We make our way down there without consequence, and we're able to really just uh, take care of everything that needs to be taken care of on the scale of fighting it. So let's go ahead and start our mad sprint down there. Like, And here, I'll show you the way I like to come down. Uh, this rock, let stamina recharge, come down here, make a mad dash to the right, go this way, and boom goes the dynamite. We are in the water. And because, if you remember, we do have the the uh, rusted iron ring on right now we are not going to take any detrimental effects from having the god that thing is nasty looking on this new game uh, god that is just terrifying in all honesty now we're going to two hand the weapon and uh, as you can see we did get one head cut off there uh, god okay we're doing better than I thought we would do right off the bat which I like to see uh, we're doing a little bit more damage than I thought we would do. Uh, I think we have a decent shot at actually winning here, as long as we can stay in the water and get these heads taken care of. Now, if you come too far out of the water, uh, it will start shooting the water bullets again, which is no bueno. So definitely keep your shield equipped until... God, it's just really pulling those heads away faster than I would like it to, uh, which is not a good thing. I'm just going to go ahead and untarget it, come back here and hit a couple of these heads a few times and uh, really hope that we've got what it takes, uh, as it were, to uh, get back to these heads and uh, really, really do some damage to them. Now, I know that uh, this can be a very time-consuming fight, especially if you're not using, uh, you know, upgraded weapons like we are. We're using the Scimitar Plus 4, and you'll see we're still only doing about 49 damage a hit on a creature that has quite a large health bar. Now, because of that, gosh, I don't even know where I'm looking right now. Okay, now, because of that, uh, you know, the fight can take quite a bit of time. So you definitely want to uh, take your time, you know. It's it's a marathon, not a race, uh, in my opinion, on these uh, Hydra fights. As long as you're in the water, it definitely, you really take out a large portion of that, uh, that panic to win and uh, get it killed right off the bat. So as long as you can stay in the water, again, you know, I can't, I can't uh, facilitate that uh, thought enough. Stay in the water, the water bullets, as we've seen, just do a crap ton of damage. And even when he hits my shield, which only has a 95% uh, damage reduction instead of a 100% physical damage reduction, he doesn't do a whole lot of damage to me. So it's definitely worthwhile to, uh, God, I, I'm really trying to get that head down. It's not working out the way I want it to. I'm trying to stay in a relatively neutral uh, area. As far as the, um, what do you call them? The, uh, as far as the heads are, I don't want to get hit with the heads. And I'm really hoping that if I do the, uh, see, I believe that was the water bullets. We went a little too far out of the water there right off the bat. Now, God, it's this head right here is going to be the death of me. Because if, if you see right here, I'm not worried about him right now. He's just slamming his heads down. Uh, if you look right there below us, 
there is actually a little shelf and you can barely see it but if you walk off that little shelf you will fall into the deeper water and you will die like we have discussed before you cannot swim in dark souls unfortunately yeah you're you're a hero you're a badass you kill big monsters but you can't swim uh it would be a miracle to me if you could swim in this game you know uh simply because uh hey you're the hero of all of lordron but uh you can't swim so you know tough tits um, I really think it would be a, a really big improvement, but hey, I see why they did it. It's a challenging game, and it's to add the challenge to it. Now, sometimes the head there, as we saw, will glitch into that wall there. It makes it very hard to hit. Uh, God, if this thing would stop going into the deep water, I would be really appreciative if you would just put your head down and let me chop it off. You're obviously going to lose anyway. We're doing very well here. And uh, here you'll pick up the knight armor if you didn't start as a knight. If you did, uh, whatever, you can pick up a second set. I don't know what you can do with it, but hey, if you're a collector, why not? Um, God, just put your, put your head down. Let me chop it off. You're not... Your shit does stink. All right, so anyhow, God, I just... Like, I'm so tired of this. I, I'm really hoping that if I stand right here, he'll slam his head down and not water bullet my ass. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. All right, still didn't help us out whatsoever. Uh... Yeah, we're chumps, I guess. Um, God, just I can't stress how much I dislike the clipping on this boss fight. Uh, we did a plunging attack there, but unfortunately we didn't kick him off. Uh, his head actually did uh, raise us up a little bit. See what I'm saying right here? Like you just, it makes it impossible to hit the damn thing, and then when you do, you don't do a lot of damage. Good lord. All right. Um. You know, this is a lengthy boss fight, and I apologize for me running out of things to say really about the boss fight. You know, I like to commentate on the fight itself and on the different strategies to take him out, but right now, it's it's really not looking too great. Uh, another strategy that I actually have found that works quite well, in my opinion, you don't honestly have to chop all of his heads off to kill him, uh, that which is uh, quite contrary to popular belief. Now, I have seen a couple other ways of doing this. If you have the Dragon Slayer Great Bow, which you will get later in the game. I have seen a couple people uh, take him down by doing it this way. Uh, I will show you a bridge after we kill him. But if you stand up on the bridge, you can see a lot of things from other parts of the game. The game is open. There's really no loading times. Uh, you know, so really you can get anywhere from anywhere and really set the stage for different things. So I've seen a guy stand on top of the bridge and shoot arrows down into the air into this area to kill the Hydra, which I thought was genius. I've ne I'd never seen anybody do it that way, and I thought, you know, that's really taking what you're, you're, what you're given and uh, really going above and beyond with it. I'm, I'm not trying to get hit with those water bullets, so let's back it up a little bit. Uh, so I really think that was taking, taking what you were given in the game and really making it your own, coming up with a really unique strategy to take him down. I've never seen it done that way, and I thought, hey, uh, you know, that's just, it's genius in my opinion. Then I've seen a uh, uh, the one way I've done it personally is if you actually come down into the water here. See, so he's only got the one head left, and I'm pretty sure if we chop it off... Does he only have the one head? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm really reluctant to continue attacking. Yeah, it's just the one head there. But I'm so reluctant to continue attacking it because he keeps bringing it down into the water here. And I really don't want to walk off the deep end on accident. Uh, and as you can see, he just continuously puts it farther and farther to the left. So I think if I come over here, oh God, I just, I don't know. Uh, I really want to say that, uh, see, we're not, we're not going to get a decent hit on him. I don't like this at all. It's not pleasing. If there was a way, if only, if only we could get him over here to, uh, just come hit me and, and not go way to my left every single time. Now, another way that I've personally done it is take out your bow and arrow and shoot him. As you can see, you'll do minimal damage each hit. However, um, you do damage. I mean, that's really the only way to put it is yes, you continue to do damage. Now, I'm actually gonna hopefully just stand here and do it like this because I'm tired of this. I really don't want him in here anymore. And I'm really hoping that by doing it this way, I've got enough arrows to, uh, Oh, he's got two heads left. Okay. One is just glitching through the wall. So, whatever. Like I said, he's got some clipping issues that uh, need to be addressed, in my opinion. But, hey, if, uh, if that's what works for the developers, whatever. You know, it just makes a long, drawn-out fight that we don't want any part of. So, okay, that did not hit like I wanted it to. 
And again, like I said, I'm really not trying to fall off the edge here. That's something we don't want to happen. And you take one step every time you swing. So I think I've got room for one more, one more swing at him before, uh, before I'm really going to just back this up and not attempt. Yeah, okay, I'm done with that little area. Let's instead come this way and get up here. And hey, you know what? Maybe we'll be able to swing it in from here. This is horse shit. This boss fight is horse shit. As you can see, we're not doing any damage. We can't get up there. We can't draw him over anywhere else. Uh, it's just not working in our favor, unfortunately. And there's not a whole lot I have here to... Like, I don't have magic right now, unfortunately. Uh, I, ha I believe I have the catalyst on me, but I don't have any true magic to cast at him. I don't have... Let's see where that other head goes to. Uh, when it strikes. Okay, it's over here right now. Okay, so did we get that head cut off? Yes, we did. Crap on a stick. God damn it. I'm so sick of this boss fight and it's really wonky physics. Because that head is just going to be the death of us. There's no... It's truly looking like it's just not going to do what we want it to do. So maybe if we come over here, it'll follow us. And if it follows us, then, uh, you know, maybe... Maybe we can draw it over here without it shooting water bullets. And again, there's that shelf. We're really trying to avoid uh, having this Hydra either shoot water bullets or have us walk off the shelf there. So I think as long as we can bring him over this way, we'll be A-OK -okay on the on the side of things where see I now I'm really not able to see where he's at uh, on the grand scheme of God all right got him okay apparently the shelf over here is a little bit larger so good news ladies and gentlemen we will be able to finish this fight hopefully as long as he continues to uh, toss himself down at us like this now since the, there it is the Dragon Skill and the Dusk Crown Ring, we did it in two attempts, guys. Alright, so like I said, the boss fight is not too hard as long as you are able to uh, bring yourself down to this uh, to this waterfront. If you can bring yourself down here, it's not too big of a fight. It's not too bad, especially if you take care of the golems right off the bat. So it did take us 12 minutes, unfortunately, but hey, we got it done, right? Uh, so hey, uh, as, I can, as, as you can plainly see, you don't have to be too far along in the game to get this done. So hey, we <laughs> I'm actually really happy that we got that taken care of because it opens up a brand not a brand new playstyle, but the the way that I'm used to going about things in the game. So as I was saying, if you come up here, this ladder right here, if you come, it's next to the waterfall. Just keep going around the lake there. It's a fairly long ladder, and it brings you right into the forest. However, um, this is I believe the bridge that I saw the guy doing his uh, shooting off of. Which, again, is one of those genius strategies that I'm sure... I'm not going to say the developers didn't plan for it because, hey, they made the game completely open. And, you know, I'm sure they thought at some point, hey, you know, somebody might uh, not take advantage of this, but, you know, discover this is a way to do it. And they said, you know what, let's let them do that. Yeah, this is the bridge right here. Um, so if you stand on top of this bridge, as you can see, you can plainly see down into the uh, lake there. Now, because the Hydra is in that lake... 100% of the time it doesn't just spawn down there when you're near it's always there so because of that you can actually shoot it from up here if you have a bow with a range like the dragon slayer great bow which has a ridiculous amount of range and a ridiculous amount of damage as long as you have the dex and the strength to wield the weapon now um god I'm trying to think guys I'm sorry I'm trying to go off on a separate tangent and it's not working for me but anyhow uh, different strategies like that are really just in my opinion just really great make the game 100% better than uh any other really good uh, open-ended um, semi-RPG games that I've played around here. Now, as you can see, we come back around into the garden. So it's actually really cool. We've completely skipped the 25,000 uh, soul door that you need to get the seal for. And this area right here, okay, this is a, a problem area for a few people for one reason and one reason only. You might see that thing slinking around up there. He just hopped down. There are three of these uh, creatures there, and they are... Uh, one-shot creatures, so they're not too hard to beat, in my opinion. Uh, if we can actually get him to 
do his little roll over here. And there it is. Uh, if you get down in the trees, they can't come through the trees. So you can go ahead and just wail on them after they come down here. And he'll run off and he'll do his thing over there. And there's two more up there. But uh, if you get him to come over here and roll at you, you definitely like that right there. Boom. Come back into the trees. Maybe two-hand your weapon if you're really feeling randy. And uh, just go to town on him because he they can't get through the trees. So they are stuck at the tree line. Uh, it's kind of cheap, but hey, it's the way I take care of them because they do uh, just a buttload of damage. They are one-shot creatures. They are worth quite a few souls. So hey, if you really feel the necessity to do this, uh, hey, go ahead and kill them like this. Now, the uh, other other way to do this is not kill them at all. You know, just run straight through the trees to the other side. And I will show you that here in just one second. Um, I'll show you exactly where we're going. But uh, right now, I'm just going to try to take care of this guy. I might not take care of the other two, but maybe just this guy here. Uh, and if I do so, hey, you will, you'll see exactly where we go. Because we are on our way to the back end of the area where the... Uh, and I'm stuck inside of him right now. I don't know how that happened, but I can't move. All right, there we are. Now, there is the area up here where I was talking about with the Covenant, the uh, Forest Covenant. Uh, I don't remember exactly what it's called right now, but... Um, God, what is it? The the Cat Covenant is what it's most commonly called because Alvina the Cat runs it. Oh, and they jumped down here, the dirty bastards. Now I have to pay attention to all of them. It's really not going to work out for me too well. I can tell you that right now. Whoa, there it is. So... Okay, that's the one we wanted to kill right off the bat. Okay, so we got one dead. Oh, good thing we are blocking. Uh, blocked with a weapon. Of course, blocking with your weapon. Your weapon does have block stats, just like your shields do, because yes, you can block with them. However, they are never going to be as good as a actual shield. But thank goodness we were actually blocking there, and we are able to uh, take the brunt of the attack without dying. Because like I said, these guys do hit fairly hard. Uh, I believe I might only have like a 40% block on this, uh, the scimitar here. I'll check it here in a minute, but it definitely did save us quite a bit. And they will run over to that corner that I'm looking at right there. That's where they typically go to when they're not slinking around out right in front of you. So definitely when you pop your head out, look over there and see if they're there first, because that is their typical hiding spot. If they're not up there on the, if they're not right here in front of you or up there where they haven't jumped down yet, that's right up there on that ledge that I'm looking at. So they'll just jump back into that corner. Of course, when they see you, they'll run over here and try to attack you again. But hey, they can't get through the uh, the, the, the tree line, so we're, we're all bueno. Again, kind of like uh, with, the, uh, with the Hydra, yeah, it does take a little bit longer. But uh, overall, I believe it's worth it simply because you end up uh, with a lot less of a hassle, in my opinion, to uh, take these guys down. Now... Because they are, I believe, two times bigger than you, you can't get a backstab on this enemy. Uh, but hey, if you want to prove me wrong, by all means, go ahead and post in the comments below. And let everybody know, hey, you can backstab them. Uh, Terminal Twist is a liar. Uh, but hey, if you catch me lying like that, hey, correct me, and I will be more than happy to say, you know what, I was corrected, I misspoke, I said something wrong that I did not know about. And uh, there we are, with the correct information. I'm all, I'm all for correcting my arguments when I'm proving wrong. I'm like some of the uh, worst arguments in the world. Uh, that's what I really don't like about some people. You know, you, you prove them wrong and they, they insist that they were right the whole time regardless of the evidence that you put forth. So, hey, I, I don't like to be one of those people. Not that that has anything to do with this game. Now, gosh, you know, I might just end up running across simply because I'm getting tired of messing with these guys. But you know what? We might come down this... God damn! All right, that was a bigger, heavier hit than I was really looking forward to. Gosh, I, I did not appreciate that whatsoever. All right, so they're just going to run that way. Turn around. Come attack me again. Be little jerks. Do tons of damage because they're big. And that's not even the one. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm clicking to switch over on my targeting, and it's not working. I don't know what's going on. Why I can't target this one that's right in front of me, but hey. Yeah, see, it's just centering my camera. I can't target it for some reason. I think it's stuck in the graphics or some such thing. Because I literally cannot target it. But hey, it doesn't matter now, it's dead, right? And they're worth 2,000 souls apiece, which is actually quite hefty. Looks like this one got stuck there as well, so hey, if you can get it stuck here, apparently this is a genuine tactic, I guess. Uh, I got lucky. Alright, looks like it's not going to try to attack me from here. So uh, we'll definitely go ahead and attack it, why not? That is an ugly, ugly thing. Good lord. Alright, how much damage do you want to take before you die? Maim, kill, wound. 
Destroy. All right, we got it. Okay. So uh, that is all three of these, and we are free to just walk across now. Now, if you decide that you do not want to go out of your way to kill those cats, what you can do is you can just make a mad dash for it, and sometimes you will get hit as he comes down. Uh, but make sure you're running as soon as you hit the bridge, because as soon as you start coming across the bridge, the, uh, the first cat will start jumping down. So you want to get across as absolutely quick as possible. So hopefully you make the tree line. If you make a mad dash, you should make the tree line just before the cat actually decides to do a roll at you. So it'll roll. You'll get through the uh, deal right in time to... To uh, dodge the attack that it tries to launch at you there. But we are at 20 minutes. So I will just show you one thing real quick. Come down here. And this is actually a back. Not necessarily a shortcut. But an alternate route to get to the boss fight for the Great Wolf Sif. Which is uh, the keeper of the Ring of Arturius. So hopefully here. Uh, we won't, I don't think we'll be taking on this boss next time, but there is a suit of armor over here in this general area that I really want to get before we continue on to fight Quelag. So hopefully we can use these souls that we've just acquired to level up our weapon just a little bit and hopefully get some levels on the armor as well. So, uh, thanks for joining us yet again for another episode of Let's Play Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. I do sincerely thank you for watching and I do sincerely hope that you're enjoying it. Peace out, and we will see you back next time on the next episode. Y'all have a great one. Bye.